Hey there, lovely people. It's Anna here, your guide to all things tech on the For Real channel. Now, if you're like me and like to keep your digital spaces tidy, then today's topic is just for you. We're going to tackle an issue that has been driving many of us Apple users up the wall. The persistent game center on iOS and OS X. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? These incessant notifications and prompts can really mess up your gaming groove. But don't worry. Today, we're going to get rid of Game Center's pesky interruptions once and for all. Don't believe me? Well, stick around. All right, let's start with our first method. Disable your Game Center account. It's simple, straightforward, and effective. Jump into Game Center and find the section that says Me and then Account. Once you're there, you're going to want to tap on View Account. Here's where things get interesting. Turn off your public profile and then tap on your verified email. From the options, select Remove Email from Account. If you're feeling particularly daring, you could even change your username while you're there. Finally, sign out of the Game Center by tapping Me, Account, and then Sign Out. Easy, right? However, keep in mind doing this only removes your public profile and email addresses from Game Center. But it might still show up with a sign-in prompt when you launch a game. If that's still on your nerves, hold tight. We've got more solutions. Method 2 is all about disabling notifications for Game Center. Find the Settings app and select Notifications from the list. Scroll down to Game Center and flick that switch. Now, none of those pesky Game Center notifications will be able to bother you. But again, this doesn't get rid of the sign-in pop-up when you boot up a game. No worries, we've got you covered with our final method. Before we continue, a gentle nudge to hit that like button if you're finding this helpful so far. And don't forget to subscribe to our For Real channel for more guides like this. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, or even if you just want to say hi. Now, back to the tutorial. Now, to eliminate the sign-in pop-up, we will use a little persistence. If you've already signed out of your Game Center, go ahead and launch a game. When the welcome pop-up appears, tap Cancel. You'll want to do this three times. I know what you're thinking. Anna, are you sure this is going to work? Trust me, the third time's the charm. After the third cancel, a new pop-up will appear, asking if you want to disable Game Center altogether. Tap Disable and that's it. No more annoying pop-ups. All right, a couple of bonus tips before we wrap up. In Game Center, you can disable features like multiplayer games and adding friends by turning on restrictions. To do that, simply go to Settings, then General, and find Restrictions. And just a heads up, Game Center is a part of iOS software, so you can't completely remove it. But with these steps, we've at least got it to quiet down a bit, right? And that's it, folks. We've tackled Game Center and won the battle. I hope this guide helps you enjoy a peaceful, Game Center-free experience on your Apple devices. As always, it's been a pleasure. For more tech know-how, keep it locked here on 4Real. This is Anna signing off. See you in the next video.